Well, I like to say that this is a bittersweet uh, moment. Um, bittersweet that we've made it this far. That you made it this far watching my craziness. Thank you very much. And we're going to be doing a uh, old push mower. The guy over across the street over there is uh, doing a power mower. That's cool. I used to have one of those, but then it broke down. So, we're going to be doing the whole lawn this time. I don't think there's anything left for here to cut though, it's too short. But, um, but yeah, nothing left to cut up here. Leave it alone. Um, like I've been mentioning, uh, you can use a powerful mower and then you pay, you, you pay more in gas. Or you can use a maybe horsepower free mower. Um, but it has less power, so sometimes when the grass gets really wet during springtime, this thing gets stuck. No, not this thing, but those power mowers get stuck. And then they're real, they're really a bitch to uh, undo. But, but um, yeah, I think this is going to be the last. Because I got to start, I got to start putting this uh, assignment together. I haven't mowed the lawn since summer, so because of school and whatnot, and so maybe I'll just throw this over here to show you that you can use a old-fashioned mower or a manual mower and not have to get the same Basically, I wanna, basically what I want to show you is you guys pretty much get the same results by using a old-fashioned old mower still. Um, most likely I'll be getting an electric mower. I'm just seeing it upside down. Where, where's my face? Yeah. It's because it's the glare. It's the glare up on the uh, screen. But you can get a... Um, can I show the picture of the grass? Oh, where am I? Too much glare I can't see. Yeah, this is good. So what happens is uh, I'm going to get myself an electric mower. Because electric mower doesn't do a uh, doesn't you don't need oil I don't think. Maybe 
yeah, let's do it this way. I can I can move this with one hand, so I'm not But sometimes you have to go. The only problem with this is you have to go over and. Uh oh. Looks like the neighbor's garden is starting to slip through here. That's okay. And then the reason why you should another another thing you can do is use plastic wood. The paint doesn't come off because the plastic's already stained, but you're stuck with that color unless you paint a primer on it. Like painting uh, uh, model figures for your um, RPG games, role playing games. But in this case, I think it's because the grass is relatively dry. So you have to push it, you have to push it a couple times though, so, sometimes. That's the only bad thing because with a liquid with a, with a motorized mo well, lawnmower, you can just burn through this, burn through this uh, right away. See? Yeah. <clears throat> but I've been meaning to do this earlier in this semester, but school and study and. My psychiatric test kind of uh, sucked the time away. I was also going to do an, up, do an assignment where I uh, clean up the Southland, <laughs> Southland Hill, but I don't have enough time for that. I gotta start putting putting together my uh, Shark Waters paper. But this is a see this uh, this prevents CO2 from seeping into the air uh, as we. Beautify our properties. Call me crazy! But I kind of like mowing the lawn. Or in this case, a bunch of uh, weeds. But I like it when it gets really moist like that. It's just, I like the smell of it. When I move to my apartment, it's really gonna miss that smell, so it gives me an incentive to move again into a house. I'm moving into an older house, however. I have to make sure it has no asbestos. But, nothing wrong with moving, like, people want to move into a newer house all the time, but you can always upgrade it, upgrade an older house, too. However, some, some older houses are very expensive. And in Calgary, most of the older houses are built in the plain. So, this is a strange lawn because it's not really a lawn. It's just a bunch of grass seeds that the uh, original owner built, or not the original owner, but the uh, the landscaper built. So some days, even some days, some places get. Uh, see, I gotta do this again. Some places, some of this lawn is nice. Some places, some years, this lawn is yucky. <clears throat> just don't go parachuting into it, though. But yeah, I produce zero emissions in this house, with the exception of uh, electronic emissions. Um, I, I switched over the light bulbs to LED light bulbs from uh, incandescent light bulbs. LED is uh, very, very fuel efficient. It produces a lot of light too, so again, that's a good way of uh, cutting back on uh, electronic use. However, Nenshi did mention then she did mention that he was going to go uh, switch most of downtown's facilities to uh, air, or not air, wind. So there's a bit of guilt-free consumerisms there. But see, look, even with an old-fashioned mower that's a kick in, that's a pain in the ass, it uh, still relatively cuts it down. And then you can what, take a, a a weed trimmer. And just miss the parts that you like uh, that won't that won't cut down. See, or you can just ignore it. I mean, see, still looks the same from afar, anyways. See, looks the same from afar. I still have a little bit of grass sticking up everywhere. So, um, so poof, the bug went into my nose. Now you see, the, you can see the uh, effects of um, not biodiversity. I meant invasive species here. Weeds, 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 weeds. 
I believe it was the Bronconye administration that banned uh, the spray, the spray pesticides. And fell in favor for the, for the pellet pesticides. I'm not sure what the hell these things are. Some kind of weird clover looking thing. The good thing about having good grass is you don't leave spaces for uh, these weird plants from beyond hell to uh, these weeds beyond hell to grow. And like I said, it's it's late fall, so we had a prolonged Indian summer, so uh, that's what helped drive the grass up a bit. But grass is always versatile. I wonder how many of these weeds are man man-made and or you know cross breeded Monsanto, really cross breeded plants. I remember when I first moved to this neighborhood, maybe in the 90s, lots of bees were here. Lots of bees were fluttered around, especially to this. Like, this thing wasn't here, but I had a, I had a uh, bushes that yellow flowers, and bees enjoyed that. So sometimes when I see flowering insects, because they're so rare now, I don't, um, I don't uh, water. I always aim to water at the rocks there, and um, try to disrupt, not disrupt. It's uh, collecting collecting thing because we don't have enough bees anymore. Bees are dying out. We learned this lesson in the Nicolas Cage movie. Um the old Nicolas Cage movie where he screams out not the bees, not the bees. That's why. But yeah, see? It looks pretty nice. And just all it does is cost elbow grease. Um Maybe going back to, uh, oh, this is an old mower too, so the blades are pretty much dull. I don't know how to take this apart and fix it. Every time I try to fix it, I forget which order the nuts go in or whatever. And then I should label it one, two, three, four. Maybe like that. I've seen the garage mechanics do that before. I label everything one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, this will be, I mean, this, my, my dad's a civic engineer, or was a civic engineer, or still is. He's a civic engineer professor. And he, one thing that was really blasphemous for him was uh, that I was so much into conserving energy because I was a, I'm a scout, right? And also I learned these uh, technologies saving energy in school uh, in the 90s. So that was really blasphemous for him, especially that um, I would be a, uh, so keen on on uh, not using technology because that's what civic engineers are born to do is love technology and stuff that they're technophiles. I love I love machines. <coughs> but if I were to upgrade, if I were to upgrade again into the world of machines instead of world of uh, manual stuff, I definitely get an electric mower. See, just 15 minutes already, and we've uh, we've made ourselves a corridor. Okay, so we made a corridor, ourselves a corridor. So we're gonna go up and down them now. And oh, combine mode. Shit, this wheel's gonna pop off. Damn it, this wheel's gonna really pop off. <clears throat> Maybe this thing will fall apart by the time. Yeah, the wheel's gonna come off, man. Okay, we're coming down to our 15 minute mark, so we're gonna now switch it over to 